This video is based on a request from a viewer who wanted to know how to get a list of all the either hidden or visible Google Sheet tabs using Google Apps Scripts. So let's get started. Here I have a Google Sheet and if you want to play along there is a starter sheet in the links in the description below. And on this Google Sheet I have a number of sheet tabs, visible one, visible two, visible three, and hidden one, hidden two, and hidden three, plus a notes section like I usually have in a starter sheet. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and hide all these hidden sheet tabs. So I'm going to hit control and click hidden one, hidden two, hidden three, then right click and hide my little ninjas. Cool. So from here, I'm going to then go into our extensions and click on app script, which will get me to this sheet tab here. So the first thing we need to do is set up a few variables. So let's get cracking. So we've got our get hidden sheets function here and let's comment this and call this our variables. And then our first variable is going to be the spreadsheet that we're using. So we can say const as a constant variable spreadsheet ss equals spreadsheet app get active spreadsheet. Cool. And that will get us our spreadsheet. And now we need our list of sheets. So constant again, sheets equals SS for our spreadsheet, active spreadsheet, and we can use the get sheets method here. And this is going to get us a list of sheets that we can iterate through and call other methods inside of them. Okay, so the next thing is the actual function that's going to extract our list of either hidden or visible sheets. And let's just make a note here and say hidden sheet list. Great. And let's create another constant variable. And we'll call that one hidden sheets. And we're going to make that equal to our sheets list. And on our sheets list, we're going to apply the reduce functional method to it. Now the reduce method iterates over an array and returns a single value. For us, that single value is going to be our array of hidden sheets by name or by ID. So here we can use two arguments. And as you can see in the helper information here, we've got a previous value and a current value. Now our previous value can also be accumulated or added to to make a value. And we're going to, so let's just call this our accumulator or ACC for short. That's a common parameter name for it. And then what are we iterating through? Well, we're iterating through our sheet. So our current value is going to be the sheet. Awesome. Let's go ahead and create an arrow function. And two curly braces and create a new line now. Cool. Okay, so before we continue, we need to create an initial value that Reduce is going to check the first time it iterates through our sheets list. And for us, that's going to be an array. And basically we're setting an array. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is just make a simple return. Okay, so now we're gonna use a ternary operator here, which is basically an inline if statement. And that's going to say if sheet and here we're going to use a method to check if the sheet is hidden and it's easily named is sheet hidden. And close the brackets on that because it is a method. So if the sheet is hidden, so we'll add a question mark here for our ternary operator. So if it is hidden, we want to concatenate our accumulator array because right now the first item in our pre in our accumulator is this empty array and we want to concatenate to it using the concat method and in that method we want to add our sheet name and we can grab our sheet again and we can use the get sheet name method here okay so that is the condition if it is true. So what we're saying at the moment is that if the sheet is hidden, let's store the sheet name of that sheet. If it's not hidden, then we just wanna return the accumulator. 
So that's it. So let's go ahead and console log that. And hit save. And we'll go ahead and run. And as you can see in our execution log, we have hidden one, hidden two, and hidden three. And if we go back to our sheet here, we can see none of those are available and they are all hidden in our list, as you can see in the light gray in the sidebar here. Cool. So if we wanted to get the opposite, so all the sheet tabs that are visible here, so it'd be visible one, two, three, and the notes. So we can return, if the sheet is hidden, then it needs to be equal to false to say it's not hidden. And we can shorthand that with an exclamation mark at the start. So let's go ahead and hit save again, and we should see a list of all the visible sheet tabs. Visible one, two, three, and notes. Visible one, two, three, and notes. Awesome. Okay, so let's take that off because we're focusing on the hidden ones here. Sometimes it's easier to grab a sheet by its ID. So we can change that again. So let's just get rid of get sheet name here. And we can use the get sheet ID method here. And let's hit run and see what happens. Awesome. So now we've got the sheet ID of all the hidden values. So let's just see where that lives here. I'll highlight this, see if you can remember it. Let's go back and let's just uh, unhide the first one. See if that's the first item. Yeah, 4898389924. 48983 Cool, that's a match. That's the first hidden value. Let's go and hide it again. Excellent. So we've got a list of hidden sheets. Sometimes you may also just want a mix of both. For example, we want to store the ID and the sheet name. So to do that, inside our concat, we're going to add two arrays. So if we add it like this, let's just see what happens. I'll click, click run for now. And adding the first level of array just is the same as how we had it before. But if we add a second level of array here with an extra square brace and run, so we can see here that each sheet ID now is in a second level of an array. So let's just add to that array. And we might start off by saying sheet dot get sheet name and put a comma there. So now we've got two items in that second level of array for each one of the sheets and hit run. Cool. And now we've got hidden one is has the ID of this, hidden two, ID of this, hidden three of the ID of this. Of course, we could change our 2D array into an array of objects and we can do that. And let's just say our key is going to be our sheet name. And we're going to put curly braces here. We're going to replace that inner level of array with curly braces. And then our ID is going to be a name. Now to do that with JavaScript or Google Apps Scripts, we need to put that in a square brace just to help it know that it's a title. And here, instead of the comma, we're going to add a colon. Okay, let's go ahead and run that. And now we have an array of objects where the name is the key and the ID is the value. Okay, so that's all you need to do to get a list of all the hidden sheets in your Google Sheet or all the visible sheets in your Google Sheet. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click that like button. And if you want to see more like this, please hit that notification bell. It really helps with the algorithm. Until next time.